four men gather around the squared circle one more time to find out who is indeed going to take home the championship today. Come on, let's kick it, let's all get wicked, put your hands in the sky for a one-way ticket. One has been chasing the championship for six long years. I've been going after this title now for six long years and almost had it during the fifth pursuit. And now, it's my turn. One seeks only revenge. I will reclaim when I earned the Trivial Pursuit 5 One is the former champion looking to reclaim his crown. I was the three-time, three-time, three-time Trivial Pursuit champion, baby. And I'll tell you what, I am looking for lucky number seven every dice I roll. Tonight, it is mine. And one is the upstart who managed somehow, against all odds, to claim the victory last year. I've worked six long hard years to get this title, and I'll be damned if I'm ever gonna surrender it to any of you posers! Now, get ready for the seventh annual Trivial Pursuit Smackdown. Welcome to the hey. end of the show. Oh, hi. How's hey. it going? Trivial hey. Pursuit Smackdown is here, guys. Number seven. Yay. Let's go. Hey. Wait. Guys, this is Trivial Pursuit Smackdown 7. You may remember this from every year. Tell us what we got, Chuck. We got Star Wars, 4th Edition Genus, The Silver Screen, The 80s, Biography, whatever the f*** that is, 90s. Do you not know what biography is? And 5th we'll edition out. genus. Yay. Yeah. We have an 8-sided die here to help us decide what edition we're going to use. If we happen to roll the magical 8, we get to pick our own. And since Jared's the defending champion, you go first. You get All right. First. So, guys, here so we go. Where's so, where's the... Right, so, the blue one is the size. So, blue decides, purple is the Perfect. roll. We got two of them. There you go. Okay. And we're off. We're actually prepared this time. I know. From 1995, Jared, who lost his job to Alexander Kwasniewski in a 1995 presidential vote? Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed A. Salome. <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Well, you are wrong. I am not wrong. You're, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, good. This is Lech, L E C H, Le Lech, 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 Walesa. Lech, Walesa. Yeah, that yeah, person. Yeah, that guy. I'll go for the He's red. Going for the, going for the red wedge. And my okay, camera's the six, six one. Nice. What, is that? what Canadian singer did writer Sandra Wilson call one of the most freakishly mutated creatures the Streisand machine has ever coughed out? Whoa. Ooh. This Damn. is from 1990. I think I have an idea. There's Celine Dion. There's also Cindy Lauper. Um, but <clears throat> I'll, I'll say Celine Dion. Screw it. Celine Dion. Yes! Wow. Five is biography, so. Right. Okay, you'll probably get this. What future talk show, TV talk show host, was once a mechanic on Mercedes and Rolls Royce cars. Oh, wow. Like, uh, this is gonna be totally wrong. Arsenio <laughs> Hall? No, man, it's Jay Leno. Ah! Oh, oh, he's got the car really? show! Yeah, he's got the car show! Wow! Five, five is biography. Alright. All right. Wayne's going for the blue wedge. This may be a quicker game if we consistently. <laughs> if you say don't that, say that! As soon as you say that, See you at one. midnight! <laughs> <laughs> What country began the 1960s under Prime Minister John Diefenbaker? Little John Diefenbaker. What? <laughs> Little John. Italy. Canada. Damn. Jeff. Yes, sir. What group of people did legendary director John Ford summarize as crap? I'm going to go with Native Americans. Oh. I mean, <laughs> actors. Oh, I just actors. <laughs> <laughs> But what about what what what's his well, name on Native American actors? <laughs> I mean, that is a, that's, that's, he's a director, Jeff. It's, it's, it's should have clicked. You're right. Eighties yellow. Yes, sir. What actress opted out of Blind Date when she heard producers preferred Bruce Willis over Sean Penn for the lead? This actress could be anybody, really. Yeah. It's obvious. Doesn't be Susan Sarandon. I'm gonna go with my first guess. I'm gonna say Cameron Diaz. Even though. That's incorrect. Probably <laughs> 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 Madonna. Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. 
You going for the orange wedge? Yeah. Man, I hate life. What conservative radio host is the son of Eisenhower's ambassador to India? Oh. The really very first thing that came to mind was Rush Limbaugh. It's obviously Kate and Kate. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with my gun and say Rush Limbaugh. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would have said that too. Good guess. Yeah, I got a wedge. All right, Jared. For By the all lead. humans. What Siberian lake contains 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water? <laughs> all right, then. What Siberian lake? Yeah, what Siberian lake? That's the first three words I read off this card. Are you f***ing knows a stand? F***ing knows a stand. That's not a lake. Lake f***ing knows a stand. Lake knows. It's Lake Baikal. Lake like Baikal? Sure. Sure. Sure, why not? Oh, man. He probably will know this. What Ivy League school did F. Scott Fitzgerald attend? Um, he went to Brown, didn't he? Is that your final answer? Yale. It's he can't guess again. It's, it's Princeton, dumbass. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna get this. <laughs> Who is the author of the Harry Potter series of stories? J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you, Wayne. What U.S. state's lucky voters got to pull the lever for Howard Stern for governor? It was me. Utah. <laughs> Utah. It's Arizona. Okay, yeah, yeah, you have a two percent chance of this get of this being right. Oh my god. I mean, at least you have some probability. It starts with a Q. <laughs> it's got eight letters in it. <laughs> and three of them are silent. Good luck. <laughs> uh, can I spin the wheel to get a letter? <laughs> no, you can even pull the letter. Oh my god. Oh, did you <laughs> did there? against better judgment, New York State. Correct. What? Yep. I thought so too. What neutral nation admitted in 1998 that its national bank accepted stolen gold from the Nazis? <laughs> what? Switzerland. Oh, Correct. Oh, oh okay. Nailed. That was a giveaway. Right. That was a give them away? That yeah, was? Give me give away. away. Give them away. Give them away now. Give them away. Give them away. Give them away now. Like the Swiss when they put away the money. <laughs> The Nazis. the Nazis got all the hundies! <laughs> With apologies to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. Sorry, Flea. Flea. Okay. One blue. Silver, Silver screen. screen. Silver screen. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well. It's never a good sign. No. What filmic odyssey opened with a wager in London's Reform Club in 1872? Oh, wow. Odyssey. And you're a stage actor. <laughs> wah, wah. Wow. Yeah, stage actor. <laughs> yeah, stage, film, not film, film actor. odyssey yeah, actor. Yeah, Jared's not in the film actor's guild. That's true. <laughs> so who's the joke? <laughs> why, why don't you just drive the film deeper into the wound there, Chuck? Extend your hand. Poor Jared. Queen Victoria. Around the world in 80 days. Ah, uh, wager. What talk show host is enough of a car buff to write a monthly column for Popular Mechanics? You have got to be kidding me. What? Jay Leno? The one. Yeah. Because we had that no, earlier. earlier. It's similar. Way to pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> Good job paying attention. Here we go. From 1996. All right. What athlete has inspired announcers to exclaim, the Camby Man can, or the Camby Man can't? Camby spelled C-A-M-B-Y. Camby. Marcus Camby? Um, Jeff Foxworthy. Oh. Oh. What? what? Huh? Did you read the right question? No, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Answer is definitely that again. What athlete has inspired announcers to exclaim the Camby Man can or the Camby Man can? Jeff Wait, Foxworthy was an athlete? That's what it says. It says, and then the answer is Jeff Foxworthy. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah, Marcus Camby, you're <laughs> I don't even know what life is anymore. Chuck? You done goofed. I done goofed. But he didn't done goof, he went full potato. <laughs> the cards were stuck together, practically fused together. Uh, uh, it is hot in here, it is hot in here. Yeah. It took f***ing cold fusion to break those two cards apart. Wayne, good job. Good job, Marcus Camby. And what an act our like first done goof. <laughs> That was uh, this table, man. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy in that is an athlete, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> according to Chuck. It wouldn't surprise me if he played like tennis or something. And I get to choose. Wait, wait, Do you want another choose? 90s question? Give me another 90s. Alright, oh Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah, two out of two. <laughs> Check to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is one? From the year of yeah. Wayne's birth, 1993. Yeah, it is All one right. card, thank God. 
Oh, it's the same fucking question! Wait, 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 wait. Mohamed Salome! <laughs> Is it really? What name did, what name did Mohamed Salome use when writing the band? Oh my god, what are the odds? Burn. What are the odds? Why can't I answer it? No! <laughs> That's the same fucking question! That's like the greatest moment in True Pursuit history! Everybody knows that! 1991. Wow. What newly independent state could a fin reach by paddling due south from from Helsinki? Mohammed Salome. <laughs> what yeah, newly? Because that's a state. <laughs> it's a state of mine. Estonia. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. All right, Jared. What European country once celebrated January 14th as a holiday called the Feast of the Ass? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no, go ahead, eat that. Uh, I'm guessing they Eat the booty like groceries? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, guessing, I'm guessing they mean a donkey. Or butt. <laughs> yeah, what European country once celebrated January 14th as a holiday called the Feast of the Ass? Johnny, are you ready to celebrate Feast of the Ass? European country. <laughs> you might be in for a ride, Chuck. I know what January 14th is, Feast of the Ass. It's not Feast of the Ass. <laughs> or it's it. I'd say France. <laughs> Correct. What are you? <laughs> Leave it to the French to come up with something like that. We, yeah. we, we enjoy the ass. <laughs> we we enjoy the ass. We would feast in its honor. Six, seven, eight. Yes, I will. Oh, I'll go man. To choose what are you going to do? I will go. I got the question right. right Orange here. Star Wars. Duh. Who manages to blast through the shields on General Grievous's flagship in order to gain access to its hangar bay? Um, that would be Obi-Wan, wouldn't it? Mm -mm. <laughs> Did you like a second guess? <laughs> Stop asking him that! 80's red. And this! What series centered on a bumbling teacher who lost the instruction manual for a superhero suit? Ooh. Where's my super suit? I sound like Mr. Bean. Honestly, <laughs> I can imagine Mr. Bean. I would love to see that. that. If I know. Um, that's my it? final answer. <laughs> I don't recall if I know. Hey, Patrice. I don't recall him being a teacher. Screw it, Mr. Bean. Uh, the greatest American hero. Oh, I think Jeff would get this. What's the favorite ethnic cuisine in the U.S.? <sighs> think of foods you hate. There are two that come to mind. There's two immediately that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's two I, I mean, in the I mean, room. Th think about it. Yeah, like American or world cuisine hasn't really changed all that much in the last like thirty I'm years. Have it. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with first instinct. I say Chinese. Italian. 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 Oh. oh. It was it was a fifty fifty between the two. To be two fair, said. those were the two I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking right at them. I immediately thought Mexican and Chinese. I immediately thought Italian. Yeah. And I was like, wait, Chinese is up there too. And yeah. then there's me, Wayne, and you, and it's just like, let's go get a burger. <laughs> Irish, Scottish, I British, eight. German. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I have a plethora of uh, shit. One. I feel like that should just be a breakfast bowl. <laughs>